Now, this is an example on differential equation and uh, at uh, or in the NCA exam, this question would be the first question, A1 would be a merit question and 2 would be an excellence question. It's a very interesting question on rumors, okay? Let's read it. A rumor starts that New Zealand, that New Zealand is going to become a part of Australia. The rate at which the people hear the rumor is proportional to the number of people who have not heard the rumor. Let P be the population of New Zealand. So that's where we start. So they are saying consider P to be the population of New Zealand. And let's say PR be the population who have heard the rumor population of New Zealand that have heard the rumor. Okay, so what will be the population that hasn't heard the rumor? Well, that would be P minus PR would be the population of New Zealanders who have not heard the rumor. So this is where you start and this is how you start. So let's read it again. So what are they saying? The rate at which the population hear the rumor. So that's a rate. So when you want to write a rate, well, that is in terms of T. So DPR, which is the change in the number of people who have heard the rumor. The rate at which the people hear the rumor, that is DPR. PR stands for the population of New Zealanders who have heard the rumor. So DP by DT is proportional to the number of people who have not heard the rumor. It is proportional to P minus PR. This implies DP by DT is equal to k times k times p minus pr okay and that implies bringing the p's together and t's taking t's away so i can say dividing both sides by p minus pr i can say dp by p minus pr is equal to k dt So this is same as, so let me write it here. So this implies, you have to use a different color. So this implies, if you integrate both sides, integration of dp by p minus pr is equal to integration of k dt. So simplifying this a little, so this is this implies integration of 1 over p minus pr dpb dpr is equal to k times integration of dt so here you're integrating both sides so well this is equal to what this is equal to the p is a constant p is not changing because p is the population of new zealand and pr is the variable here so this is just in uh, as integrating of 1 over x and as this is minus pr and as we know integration of 1 over x is natural log of x 1 over p minus pr would be minus natural log of uh, let's put this in a bracket so p minus pr is equal to kt plus c so hopefully you know when you're integrating both sides, you put only one constant because this constant is an arbitrary constant. So now multiplying both sides by negative 1, I can say natural log of P minus PR is equal to minus KT minus C. Now the base of natural log is E. So well, I can say P minus PR 
is equal to e to the power minus kt minus c. So I can say p minus pr is equal to e to the power minus kt times e to the power minus c. Now c is a constant, e is also a constant, so this becomes a new constant and let's say that is a. So now this becomes p minus pr is equal to a e times minus kt. So this is the differential equation of the rate of to find the number of people who have heard the rumor at a given point of time where a is a constant, p is a constant and k is also a constant. So we have just proved that p minus p minus p r is equal to a times e to the power minus k t. So as I just said, let me repeat that a, p and k are constant. So we need to figure out what is what is uh, what is a and what is k. Okay, so let's see oh, and what is p. Okay, so now what's the next information that we have? So this is the excellence part. Okay, what are they saying? After five hours, the half the population heard the rumor. Assume that no one heard the rumor when time is zero. So this is where you're starting. So when time is zero, time is zero, the people who have heard the population, sorry, rumor, PR, is also zero. So I can say this implies P minus PR is equal to P minus zero. So this implies I can say putting this in this equation. So I can say P is equal to A times E to the power zero. Okay. So what's happening? So why did I put 0? Because t is 0, so e to the power minus k times 0 is going to be 0. Now any number raised to 0 is 1. So this implies I can say p is equal to a. So a and p are the same. So now this equation changes to p minus pr is equal to p times e to the power minus kt. Okay, so yeah, let's un look at the next part. So after one hour, sorry, after five hours, half the population have heard the rumor. So what does that mean? So this is a new form. P minus PR is equal to P times e to the power minus kt. So let me change color. So the next part is when t is phi, PR is half of P or half the population have heard the Roma. So this implies, I can say P minus half of P is equal to P times E to the power minus phi K. I put T as 5 and PR as half of P. So this implies half of P is equal to p times e to the power minus 5k. Okay, so what can we do now? So this becomes, so you can divide both sides by p, so you can say e to the power minus 5k is equal to half. So now taking natural log on both sides, so natural log of e to the power minus 5k is equal to natural log of half. And using the log rule, I hope you understand. So this is minus 5k is equal to natural log of half. Natural log of half. So I can say minus k is natural log of half divided by 5. Because I want to find minus k. Because that's what we want. Because I'm looking at minus k. So let's do this on a calculator and write this as a decimal. 
So this is my calculator coming up. So I go menu, run, natural log of half, which is 0 0.5. Let me direct, slightly scroll up, divided by 5, which is going to be negative 0 0.1386. So I can say, OK, let me scroll. I'm writing up to four decimal places. So this is this is equal to negative 0 0.1386. So negative k is negative 0 0.1386. So we're almost there. So now the question is, solve the differential equation in part A to find how long, that means you have to find the time, it would take for 90% of the population to have heard the rumor. So here what are they saying? Yeah, PR is 90%, which is 0.9P. 0.9P. Okay, so now we can change the equation now like this. So I can say P minus PR is P times e to the power minus 0 0.1386T. So now the question is, what is T? after how many hours your PR becomes 0.9P. Okay, so again let me change color, a different color. So we are almost there. So I can say, well, P minus 0.9P is equal to P times e to the power minus 0 0.1386 t. So this is 0 0.1 p is equal to p times e to the power negative 0 0.1386 p t. Sorry. Okay. So now dividing both sides by p, you can say 0 0.1 is equal to e to the power negative 0. 13860. So natural log of 0 0.1 is equal to minus 0 0.13860. So finally we got the answer. So T would be natural log of 0 0.1 divided by negative 0 0.1386. Okay, so let's again use the calculator. So this is natural log of 0 0.1 divided by negative 0 0.1386, which is 16.6 days. So in 16.6 days, 90% of the population of any country, if this is the rule that is followed, 90% uh, of the population would hear the rumor.